Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you a little story about the first time I ever had a, first and only time, I had a website shut down. Now you've heard me in the past say I got interested in web development about two, three, four years ago, whatever it was. But I actually built a website when I was about 14 and or whatever age you are in the ninth grade. And it uh, it was called for a lot, and I, I'm kind of embarrassed even to say what the name of it was. Uh, kind of narcissistic, but it's called Dylan's Palace. I don't know. It's been so long that I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, all I remember is I wanted my name in it, right? And so uh, that was... So the point of Dylan's Palace, didn't really have one. Um, I, at that point, I was very interested in journalism, and I was on the uh, school newspaper, and my father was a writer, and we used to do some writing things. And a lot of it was me writing articles that I thought were funny. So I had this one, uh, and some of it was like art. I had a friend, my friend Nam, who uh, if, you're a friend, if you're a fan of Engineer Truth's channel, he's interviewed him a couple times uh, about being an uh, engineer. It's one of his more popular videos. But anyhow, um, uh, Nam used to draw like dragons and things like that, and so I would like scan them, and I'd put them up on the site. And this was all through like um, some sort of web template builder, uh, you know, I wasn't good enough to, to type out the HTML. I could do very little things at that time. But, so yeah, I, uh, I had a lot of articles and icons, and I, I worked on it every day for like three months um, back in like the ninth grade or going into ninth grade. And uh, I had this one article I wrote that was supposed to be funny, and it was called something like, 10 reasons why my school sucks <laughs> like that was the that was what it was and it was it was a it was an article that like kind of chained through and it wasn't just like a list of 10 but it uh the the one that i apparently they found really offensive was i tried to be funny and i wrote something along the lines of and i wish i still had had all this stuff so i could actually share it but it's been so long uh, it was something along the lines of um um seagull shit on the the uh, seagulls shit on the lunch tables like bombs dropped in Pearl Harbor and like uh, I thought I was being funny anyhow uh, so that was like kind of to give you an idea of the tone of the article right um, so what happened was was uh, I uh, someone I don't know who but someone sent it to the superintendent and the superintendent didn't like it at all and so I was uh, you know I was fourteen a little intimidated at the time and um, I got called into the the principal's office, um, and my mom uh, got called in as well. All this sort of stupid bullshit, right? Shitting on my creativity, right? So if you don't, if you want another reason why I don't like organized uh, education for the most part, there's another good one. So I'm I'm thinking I'm being creative, I'm having fun, whatever. Actually, I'm probably not thinking that any now. I'm making that argument that I am. I was being creative, I was having fun, and if anything, I was getting comfortable with technology and learning new skills and learning, learning new things, and you have the superintendent who is at the pinnacle of the education system, for the most part, and the principal sitting there telling you how this is inappropriate, they can't allow it, and I need to take it down, and I'm 14 saying no, right? So, uh, I'm saying no, I'm not taking it down. Um, so, how did it how did it come down, is the... Uh, is the gist of it. Well, what happened was they called my mom in uh, after interrogating me for like 20 minutes and my mom comes in and my mom's kind of freaking out about it and uh, she's she's like, they said they're going to suspend you if you don't take it down, all this sort of stuff. You're going to take it down. I was like, nah, I ain't taking it down. Right? I'm, being, I'm, being a, I'm being a stubborn 14. I ain't taking it down. You know, fuck that. I, I didn't say fuck that, but uh, that was the mentality. I was like, I ain't taking it down. I ain't doing anything wrong. Seagull shit on the tables. It's true. None of this is none of this is false, right? Um, <laughs> everything I said was true, right? And so um, what happened was my mom, uh, who I used her credit card. I didn't have an account at that time. Uh, I had a credit. I used her debit card or credit card to actually pay for the web hosting. Uh, called the web hosting company and told them that I stole her credit card to purchase the web hosting, and that is how my very first website got shut down. Um, I just thought it was kind of a funny story, and I had forgotten about it until recently, but back when I was 14, I started getting interested in uh, building websites and you know, just pursuing interests and not even really thinking about it as a career, and it didn't. I didn't actually touch building websites ever again until... 
God, maybe 25, something like that. And that was like 10, 11 years later. And uh, it was just uh, something I thought about. And just looking back on it now and seeing, you know, my mother's overreaction and, uh, and, um, and kind of their overreaction. Like, what do you care what a, a ninth grader has to say about your school being a piece of shit, right? Like, why is that? Why is that an issue? I just thought it was kind of funny. I want to share that with you. A little bit of um, interesting history about your boy here and the uh, the infamous Dylan'sPalace.com. But uh, as always, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And join our Facebook group above anything else. The link is in the description. And if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com slash codingtutorial360. I hope you enjoyed that story. If I think any other gems from, from the history that's related to web dev, I'll try and share it as well. Although I don't think I have too many more. Anyhow, stay motivated, guys, and keep working hard. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in coding bootcamp, check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.